we have used many different acid formulations for the face in solution over the years. There's different acid solutions that work on the face. The strongest one is phenol. And if you're 70 years old and you have many wrinkles, I put phenol on your face, they all go away. Of course, you have a scab on your face for a week or two before it all heals up. The mildest acid we use is like Jessner's solution, salicylic acid. Those are milder. They penetrate just a little bit. Salicylic acid mainly to clean the pores out. Jessner's solution penetrates a little into the epidermis. The most recent ones are glycolic acid. Glycolic acid from sugarcane is very effective. It, in the ultra anti-aging cream we have, it penetrates through the pores. It's competitive to Retin-A and it does an excellent job. But even a stronger acid solution called trichloroacetic acid is a little superior to glycolic. I don't recommend people using trichloroacetic acid unless they've used glycolic acid and have no trouble with it, but yet want a little deeper penetration. That's why I have come out with trichloroacetic acid. Trichloroacetic acid I've used in strengths from 15% to 100%. For use on the face and on a regular basis, you tend towards the less concentrated solutions. This, it would be stronger than glycolic and stronger than Retin-A. It also gives a deeper reaction. So there are rare situations when people may get more of a sunburn type reaction. All that's ever required when this happens is lotion on the skin and that'll take care of all the dryness until it heals up. <clears throat> With ultra anti-aging cream, we recommend maybe two, three, four times a week, whatever you tolerate. With trichloroacetic acid, once a week, more probably twice, uh, once every two weeks would be a better idea. Once a week might be too much. It depends how much scaling you get, how dry your face is. If your face is oily, to get better penetration, use the toner to clean off the oil, then put the trichloroacetic acid on. But if you don't want it to penetrate quite so deep, then don't use the toner, just put it on top of your face. This is determined by your reaction. So if you get super dry, use it not as heavy. If you don't get it as dry, use the toner, then apply it heavier. But it's the next step past glycolic. Not to be used, I reiterate, not to be used by anyone who hasn't used the ultra anti-aging cream.